So, I'm on my Christmas break and I'm doing practice questions to see if I'm ready for the NCLEX. And the first thing I did, this was totally free to do. I did a, I believe it was 50 question practice test on Kaplan. And after I finished that, it gave me my score. It gave me what things I got wrong. It gave me the explanations for the correct answers. Really good, totally free practice test. Kaplan recommended that you should get, I believe, at least a 65% on that to like go in confidently. And I got a 54%. So not as good as I think I should have to go in confidently. It doesn't mean I wouldn't pass. It just means like for their 200% money back guarantee, they say I'm not ready. So I think, I think you have to take those scores a little bit. It's a good goal. But also, I'm guessing that was the score you need if you're buying the program and you want the money back guarantee. Like they have to say, yeah, after all you're studying, you're ready. And they're going to make sure you're like 99%, you know, going to pass because they don't want to give you your money back. But look, super dad to the rescue. So think about that. Like when you're taking these tests and how you're scoring, if you're a little bit below what one of these programs recommends, you're probably still going to pass it. It doesn't mean don't keep studying, but you're probably still going to pass it. And that said, 54, that's lower than, than I would like it to be for sure. Then I also took, I have this book, which we've done some questions out of this together on my channel, I believe for mental health. This book has five practice tests. No, all these are the current, not next gen NCLEX tests. So this doesn't have the case studies that the current ones have, but I still think they're good to use. I took 50 questions out of the first. There's five practice tests in here, and this book recommends that you use practice questions until you can score at least 75% on the exam. Use practice questions with at least 2,000 questions so you can test yourself with a wide range of content and types of questions. They want you to get 75%. I took, they have five of these comprehensive tests. I did not do a whole comprehensive test. Do, 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 do. I, there are comprehensive test one. There are 180 questions. I did 50 questions out of 180. So I didn't even do a third of the test, but it's a wide variety. They recommend 75%. You had an extreme close up going on. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> no, it's not that bad, is it? You don't want to do that. You get double chin. You got to do it up. Composition. <laughs> oh, but I got bad part. Mm, I don't know. Okay, better camera angle. They recommend 75% on Lippincott's practice tests. And like I said, it only took a third, less than a third of test one, but I looked at my percentage and I got 70%. So close, but not what they recommend. So obviously I need to still keep practicing. I'm 75% of the way through nursing school though. So I haven't finished nursing school. So yeah, my scores should keep going up, but I'm not ready yet. But yeah, I'm going to use the break to take practice tests. I think it's a good way to study. It's also a fun way to study and I'm doing what's fun. And I like seeing the scores and seeing if I can get them higher. Also, I put this out there too, because I think people think that, you know, we've been taking all these exams for classes and you need at least a 78 to pass. And uh, I've been doing pretty good on, on most of my exams. But exams for school are different than these practice NCLEX tests. It's a totally different ballgame. You uh, should not be expecting to get 80, 90 percent on these practice NCLEX tests. That's if you are, you can probably stop practicing. Go take the NCLEX. Get through with school if you need to and then go take the NCLEX. You don't need to buy any study materials. These are way harder than any of the exams you've taken. So I took a nurse achieve pediatric exam and I got a 75% on that, which I asked Nurse Achieve and they said 80% was mastery, which if 80% is mastery then 75%, I would think is pretty good. But I had taken so many Nurse Achieve pediatric practice questions already that most of them, if I'd got them wrong before, I'd seen the answer and read the explanation. So I don't think my Nurse Achieve average 75% means much. Our class average for that exam was 64%, I think. So I did do better than the class average. But again, like I saw a lot of those questions already because I 
I practiced a lot with Nurse Achieve. It's kind of like if you retook the same test twice, of course you're going to get a higher score, but that score maybe isn't indicative of how well you, you would do. Yeah, lots of these tests, lots of practice tests. It seems like you're not looking for, you know, a B or A percentage, though, on these. In every brand, the percent you need is going to vary. So, yeah, what kind of practice tests are you taking to get ready for the NCLEX? What kind of scores, percentage scores, are you hoping to see on your practice test to feel confident? Let people know in the comments and we can all uh, share advice. Or if you took the NCLEX and passed, what practice things did you use and what percentages were you getting on them? Help people out. Let us know. Thanks.